And uh, what's your name? My name is Ben Seleski. All right, Ben. So, hey, what's this about? Well, I'm out here today to uh, inform everybody that Carbon Washington is an uh, NGO that's I dedicated to implementing a revenue-neutral carbon tax right here in Washington State, where it needs to happen. So revenue neutral, what does that mean, uh, revenue neutral? Well, it means that this is non-regressive. So in other words, um, we are going to raise the carbon, ta the carbon tax revenue will generate about $1.7 billion, while we lower existing taxes by $1.7 billion. So it comes out equal. So it's not really a revenue measure. Exactly. So, so that's what this chart says, huh? Mm -hmm. So essentially, we're just reforming Washington State's entire tax structure to just be more equitable and taxing the things that we don't want instead of what we do. Oh, I get it. So we're going to tax uh, carbon energy. Is that like gasoline and, uh, and natural gas and everything, coal? All fossil fuels into, in the state of Washington, yes. Okay, so this is everything that's uh, consumed, or else would, would it also stop the coal trains and the, uh, and the oil uh, pipelines? Well, it wouldn't put a dead stop to them, but it would definitely uh, make the industry think twice before having that kind of uh, thing come by the state. So if they just flow it by, then does it get taxed? Mm -hmm. um, all fuels coming in and going out of Washington State, if they're just passing through, will not be taxed. However, uh, all fossil fuels going out from the state will be taxed, including jet fuel. Oh, okay. So in past years, maybe decades, we've had the cap and trade system where the idea is we'll put a tax on carbon and then we'll let people uh, uh, get that money back if they do something that's, that's carbon positive or something like that. So what, what's the history on that? Yes. Well, the reason why Carbon Washington is not doing a fee and dividend uh, approach, which is what, what it is, you basically get the money back if you save a certain amount of carbon. The reason why... Um, I am told that we can't do that in Washington State is because uh, it's actually unconstitutional uh, for the government to, I think, directly gift people um, that kind of uh, rebate. But, um, you know, I'm sure, for instance, Citizens Climate Lobby is trying to do that, but on, a, on the national stage. But we're just focused on doing something right here in Washington State because we think that if there's any place in the United States where this can and should happen, it's right here. Do you think they should, uh, you know, the, the global cap and trade system has, uh, uh, you know, big corporations will get a whole bunch of credits by uh, planting trees down in the Amazon or something, but then in exchange for that they have a nuclear plant or they have a big coal mine or something? Is that how this, basically, are we opposed to cap and trade or are we just, we don't care about cap and trade? Mm -hmm. Carbon Washington's stance on cap and trade is something is better than nothing. If cap and trade passes the legislation, we will be fully supportive of it. We are just slightly skeptical of that happening. Now, why we think a cap and tra why we think a carbon tax is better is simply because it's simple. It works within the pre-existing structures of the tax system, and it's more accountable. So, how are we planning on using this money? Let's take a look at the chart there. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, the main course of tax reductions will come in the form of a one, point, one percentage point sales tax reduction. Currently, businesses and individuals pay hundreds of dollars a year in sales tax. In fact, Washington State has one of the most regressive sales taxes in the nation. Uh, secondly, we're going to cut business and occupation taxes for large manufacturers because right now many manufacturers uh, pay millions of dollars in B and O taxes, and so you know when they hear when they heard about our policy, they got very excited. And so this is how we create this policy that can be um, uh, very appealing to people all across the political spectrum. Um, and then, of course, we're going to fund the working families rebate. That means we're going to give up to $1,000 a year in uh, $1,000 a year to 400,000 low income families, uh, because obviously low income families spend a higher percentage of their income on, ener on energy. And so we would help them out, making sure that no one falls through the cracks in the system. We need 300,000 signatures to get this on the ballot. We, we will be collecting signatures between March and December of next year. So we are out here today to gather volunteers to collect those signatures because our legislation is pretty much ready to go, but this won't get passed unless we get the volunteer support that we need. We have a few friends in the legislature, yes. Um, 
Well, we have been endorsed by Seattle Business Magazine, uh, as well as 350.org and Citizens Climate Lobby. Um, now, uh, Governor Inslee's uh, Carbon Reduction Task Force has uh, greatly, uh, greatly been leaning towards a carbon tax idea, uh, unexpectedly actually, because they were looking towards cap and trade earlier, but now they're heavily leaning towards ca carbon tax because it just so obviously makes sense. Uh, so uh, that's very hopeful and encouraging to us because if we can get the support from uh, WEC or uh, 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 Climate Solutions, then that would be huge. Hey, right on. Mm -hmm. So thanks a lot for the interview. We'll, we'll see you. what we do with it. Thank you.